Hello, in this video, we will introduce logical operators. Logical operators in C++ are negate, and, or. So you can combine the conditions together to form a join condition. So these are the Boolean operators and the uh, negate is using this exclamation is this P, if P is true, negate P is false. If P is false, negate P is true. And this ant is the and of the both condition. So that is the uh, uh, logical conjunction. So the, you have to have both the same. So here, only this P1 and P2 both are true. P1 and P2 is true. So this right here, any of this P1, P2 is false, the result is false. Or, so P1 or P2, if one of this P1 or P2 is true, the result is true. If both are false, the result is false. So that's all. Now let's write this program here is to test Boolean operators. We're going to prompt the user to enter a number. So here, we're gonna prompt the user to enter a number and now we're gonna check test if this is divisible by two and three. So you, how you write this, you're gonna say, if this number input is divisible by two and number is divisible by three. So if both are true, now the output is number is divisible by two and three. The next line here is the uh, statement. If number is divisible by two or it's divisible by three. So then this is true and the output is displayed. Now this here is the, here the condition is number is divisible by two or divisible by three. And number is divisible by two and divisible by three, that is false. So what is this is actually, it is exclusive or, it's the similar the exclusive or. So the number, if they are both true, divisible by two, divisible by three. So what you're going to see here, it's going to give you a force here. So the whole thing is false. If one of this is true, and then this is going to be true, and this is going to be also true. If both are false, and then everything is false. So it is here. The Result is, it, it, it is divisible, the number is divisible by two or three, but not both. So this is exclusive all. The and and all operators in C++ are known as the short circuit or lazy operators means that once you know the final result, you don't continue to evaluate. So look at this P1 and P2. If we know we first evaluate P1, if that's false, then the result is already known. So we don't have to evaluate P2 regardless whatever P2 is. 
And same for this O. For this O, P1 or P2, we first evaluate P1. If P1 is true, and the result is already no, it's true. So you don't have to evaluate it P2. So this operator and or are known as short circuit or lazy operator. Another caution is this, when you write this code here, this, you put things right here, and you get a month. Now you forgot a princess. So this is a logical error. So what happens, it depends on the amount. So we know only zero means false, all the others means true. So this will, you will be able to compile it, but it's going to be incorrect. So you should put this into parentheses. That is all for this section on logical operators. See you on the next video.